and welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna be doing another unboxing, the Varla Eagle One Pro. Uh, Shred, uh, Dead Shred's over here. Uh, he's gonna be helping me do a little unboxing and uh, these behind the camera, so everybody say hi. Uh, who's all in the chat right now? I just wanna say what's up to everybody. Hey guys. Let's see, we have Rafael Hernandez. Hey. Alicia de los Muertos. Hey, happy day of the dead to you too, brother. <laughs> Today. Okay, so I'm gonna explain something. This is day one of uh, seven days of unboxing with Shreddy. So we've got seven boxes, bikes and scooters, foldable scooters or foldable e-bikes, regular e-bikes, mountain bikes, uh, beach bikes. You think about it, we probably got it in the garage. So uh, this is day one. We're gonna be unboxing the Varla Eagle One Pro scooter. This is actually the second scooter I have received from this company. Supposedly this thing could go around, I heard 50, but then I checked out on the website and it says 45, but we're gonna see, maybe we can power this up, but this is the first 60 volt scooter I've ever uh, been on or ever owned, so I can't wait to test out the power on this. It's a dual motor, um, we'll go over the specs, I just gotta find my phone where all the specs are, but a uh, dual 1000 watt motor, 60 volt, 27 amp hour battery. Uh, I'm really excited to see what this thing can do. So we'll be shooting the review video on this tomorrow. And we'll be trying to get that out there uh, later on this week or maybe next week. I'm super excited about that. So who's on the chat? Do, do, should I say hi to everybody? Let me sit next to my little skeleton friend over Light here. Light Images NYC. What's going on? How you guys doing today? Scarecrow. Scarecrow, what's going on my brother? How you doing? Praise. And then uh, Limelight said, I've been kicking around the idea of getting a scooter. Oh heck yeah, I can't wait to, to show you what this thing can do. Like I'm, I'm excited to try it out too. It, it's super fun and as you guys notice, we're not in the garage. I bet you it probably, does it look better through the camera than the garage right now with a little better aesthetics instead of like taped walls and... A little bit minus this wire. Hold on, what? Limelight said you oh. have the Suron now. Oh hell yeah, how are you loving it and um, what upgrades do you have on your Suron? And did you guys see the new uh, the Suron Ultra? That thing looks crazy. I may play a song later. There's a guitar right next to me. Um, let me get him sat down in the background so I can get this unboxing started. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna get this unboxed because... Um, he said totally digging, just a new seat and cosmetics. So, so far, uh, no, no uh, power upgrades yet. Do you have any you recommend? <laughs> you get that Chai Gladiator battery in a BAC 4000 or uh, the BAC 8000. Boom! <laughs> Discount links in the description for those, right? Yeah, I do have a bunch of um, like links for upgrades and accessories for the Suron. And also, if you guys um, do want to support the channel, make sure you guys check out all those links down below for the e-bikes and scooters. There, there might be like a $50 off discount code for this coming out soon. Uh, use code SHREDDY, but I do have the link down below for this scooter if you guys want to go check it out or check out the specs right now while I get this unboxed and uh, try not to get all cut up and not scrape up our floors. <laughs> so, I remove these. Hey, fast and hey from Michigan. What's going on from Delaware? Delaware, who's from Delaware? Shreddy's from Delaware. And, uh, oh yeah, guys, I don't know if you guys have been following me on my stories, but uh, Lyric Cycles was here. Oh, you guys saw the video. Um, got to ride the 305 Ghost, the, the, uh, the regular Voodoo, and also the Lyric Graffiti. They were all a lot of fun. Um, just so you guys know, I'm gonna be going down to Houston for the, or Houston for the Suron Mega Ride. I'm gonna be bringing a Voodoo there. So if you guys are gonna be in Houston for that Suron Mega Ride, you guys can try that out. Um, as long as you let me try your bike out, that'd be pretty awesome. Uh, and then after that, we're gonna be doing the Electrify Expo in Austin, and then possibly Denton, Texas. D and I are, are like looking for campers. Um, so maybe if you guys can help us out, send me some links. Like we're trying to get down there. We're, we probably should be leaving within the next couple days to get down there because it's gonna take us like, it's a, about 24 hours to travel, but it's like, what, like three days? comfortably driving. I mean, you can probably make it there in two. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't He's like, so. hell nah, I am not. Any questions, any comments? Let's see it. 
Oh, you guys want to see it? All right. Oh, we have so, Matt, the mechanic, has joined. He said, what's, what's up, up, Matt? He said, what's up, my mechanic? He's, o he's over there building a 72-volt uh, Suron, actually testing it out since it's already built. I'm excited to try that out. I'll, I'll definitely be doing a video on uh, getting on that bad boy and feeling my organs shoot to the back of my body. Oh, yeah. We got the... Jay Fast said, I was Jay eyeballing Fast. the Lyric with your code. I will be able to get it come spring. Hell, yeah. Let's go. I, I can't wait to get mine. I'm, like, super excited for it. So his code is limited, and uh, it is for pre-orders. So they are pre-ordering and shipping, what, like, Jan like January 1st. Yep, yep, so yep. So I would definitely get on that while the pre-orders are still valid. Do I have a microphone? Yep, it's actually right there in front of you. Look, right there on the stand. Oh, okay, yeah. right there. Can you guys hear Dee, or do you guys think uh, she should move the mic a little closer to her? Because she has it, like, pretty low. Um, <laughs> all right. Of course, they got the staples. Thank you, Praise. The staples. So that's a cool Ouija board pillow. <laughs> Thank you. All right. I don't know how I want to open this yet. I feel like I want to pull those staples out. I hate these staples, guys. They will kill me if I scratch up the new floors. Eric Gardner <laughs> said, hey, just got home, last surgery. Hold on. He had a surgery right now? He just got back home from surgery? Is that what you just read? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. What happened, bro? You gotta be feeling good now too if you just got home from surgery. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm moving the mic, guys. Move the mic. Yeah, it probably All sounds right, can like you hear he's me better now? far away. So guys, right now I'm just kind of squishing down the um, the staples because I always get freaking cut up by them things. They always get me. I mean they already had tape on it. Why do you got a staple in it? I'm like thinking about slicing the front of this box or the size of this box so I could like just bend it down like that. But let me just unbox and see. There's a lot of packaging in here, by the way. There's like sh like 20 pieces of styrofoam and like blocks and they did a good job of, un of uh, packaging this. Can you see that? Yes. <laughs> Is there a funny comment? I see D no, laughing. No, I just moved the camera down because oh. I had it off too far. All right. Scarecrow, anyway. you can message Eddie what you had written if you want and he can check it out. Oh, we can make something out of this, um, huh? Are you, your friends him on Instagram or Facebook and send him a message. What was, uh, is there a question? Scarecrow? Death Rock's in the house. Death Rock, there he is. Tyler Brooks, uh, Matterhead. Hey, Matterhead, there he is. He said, I love the skeleton videos too, haha. -ha. <laughs> Thank you. Throughout the year. <laughs> I just sent him a, uh, a message letting him know that I still have the toy in the box and we got to send it out. Like, we've just been so busy. I showed him the garage. He saw he saw all the crazy boxes and the crazy mess that's going on. All right, what is this? So I know they have a red and a blue one of these, and they also have one with mechanical brakes and then one with hydraulic uh, brakes. But I'm not sure which one they sent me. I'm hoping they sent me the one with the uh, hydraulic. Is this brakes. just a charger? Can I unplug? Uh, that that's a charger. Yeah, you can unplug it. Let's see what's going on oh, over here. Dude, the handlebars look pretty freaking cool though. Erica kind of lean it down. So, oh, so it does fold up. Yeah, I mean, it's just like the stem folds down, but uh, you could probably always take the handlebars off. And just put it on the side like that. Um, I don't see any boxes yet with like uh, chargers or anything. Dude, there's so much styrofoam in this. All right, so this scooter does weigh like 93 pounds. I'm like thinking if I should like pick it straight up and uh, oh, this is a heavy scooter. Guys, struggling with shreddy, struggling with shreddy. Hold on, let's take a quick video. Right All right, now. you know what? I feel like I, I want to lay this down, but um, I'm going to flip it around the other way because the staples are right here. Wait, if I lay it down on the ground, it's... Not gonna be good for hardwood floors. Wait a second. I'm just turning this around. Oh, that's better. Scooting it back. These over here shooting reels <laughs> on the live. All right. 
we go. Keep that back. Keep this in front of it so I don't scratch up the floor. Um, can you make sure they see it? The live is <laughs> what really going. matters. <laughs> All right. We're they want to see what's going on. I'm over here. They're just seeing the top of my head or something. Oh my God. This is why you need two people for this. <laughs> Getting sweaty with shreddy. Little by little, guys. Little by little. Any questions? Anybody making fun of me, D? I can answer uh, questions while I do this. I know this isn't. Wow, those tires look nice. Nice. I like the handlebar too. That's actually pretty dope looking. Madrid said, no rush, Tyler Brooks. I've watched all your guys' videos. Thank you, new Tyler. New to the live, but love the videos. Awesome. Thank you, Tyler. I really appreciate Thanks. the love, brother. Glad it's your first time in a live. Yeah. Thank you for joining the live. Hopefully you stick around and watch me struggle, because uh, <laughs> I wonder if I have to build anything on this. It looks like there's not much. Like, it's already built, guys. So I'm just going to pull it out slowly and answer comments as we go. Uh, Kind of let you know what's going on. What's the next bike we're, that we should open? Maybe I should do like a little. So post. what other what other boxes do you have? And oh they my can God. they can vote. All right, we have, I think we have two, one Hovsko, two Velo Trick bikes, an Engwe foldable bike. Uh, there's another bike called the F1 Pro. It's like a, I, I don't even know. You guys should look that up. Look up that bike, the F1 Pro. What else do I got? I'm forgetting. There's a lot of boxes out there. Write in the comments what bikes you want to see them open first. <laughs> There's lots of them. All right, uh, Varla, did you guys give me a charger? Ow, the, the, it got me. The staple got me. Okay. Okay, I see a box at the very bottom. Oops, sorry. I'm making a mess of styrofoam. Actually, let me keep Pulling that out. I'm trying to be really extremely careful <laughs> with the floor so I don't get murdered by Dee Dee. All right, we'll keep that up. So have a little background. All right, here's the box. I'll, I'll lift that up and put the handlebars on a second. Right, we'll do that like that. We're gonna see what's in here. Um, oh, supposed. Let's see. Did we got the? Supposedly this has like an NFC card to start the scooter. So nobody can steal it, but um, I'm not sure if there's like a way to not use that because it's like a little card. I'm not sure like where I would keep it. I need a noise. Any questions? Richard R, is there a discount code for the Varla? There is a link in the description below. There, I should be getting a $50 off discount code. Yeah, send uh, Eddie a, send Shreddy a message on Instagram or Facebook. And he'll update this video with the code as well. In case you guys didn't know, my, my real time name now. is Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got another uh, set of Barla tools. But there is a link in the description to check out. Check out that link down below. We got a notification bell. Let's go. And some screws. I don't know what these screws are for, but we're going to put everything here and here. Oh, I think they're for the uh, handlebars. Boom, boom. Got this nice little... White box. What is in a white box? Oh, here's the NFC card and looks like I have no idea. Show us what's in the boxes. Oh, the display. Okay. Oh, it's a different display. It's not the same uh, display that it had before. Mm -hmm. And the other one, it had like a finger, like throttle display. Um, but this one actually has a display display. I want to see what the throttle actually looks like. And it, these are the NFC keys. So where am I going to keep these? <laughs> All right, we'll keep that off to the side. Okay, so it looks like I got to build a little bit. That's cool. I might turn on that fan or open a door. Can I open a door? I'm just going to open the door a little bit. Shreddy getting sweaty. So <laughs> I'm going to open this door just a tad bit. Any questions? Yeah, so we have some other comments. Let's see. Um... Madarad said, happy I could talk with D earlier too. Oh yeah, he sent me a message. Nice. Um, <laughs> Your family, bro. You're part We're, of our family. I won um, zero motorcycles, had a giveaway. 
So, and it said, guess how many Reese's was in their uh, motorcycle tank? So <laughs> I just like randomly guessed for me and Eddie. And, no way, um, she did the math. And she I got won. nerded out. I just like did the math in my head real quick and guessed, and I won. <laughs> so it was 12, I guessed 12,060. I think it was like 12,068 Reese's they could fit into their motorcycle tank. So uh, I won because I was the closest. And I think I got, I was. <laughs> <laughs> Me and you Patrick, were very close. I almost won a motorcycle. No I'm kidding. I just won some merch. Yeah, that would have been dope if she won a zero motorcycle. <laughs> oh my god, that would have been so awesome. We're yeah. getting a zero effects. Yeah. Um, all right. So this is a two amp charger. So it's a slow charger. You can buy two of these chargers and quick charge it, but um, with one charger, after the battery's fully dead, it's going to take about 13 to 14 hours to get back up to 100. And if you do two chargers, it's about like six to seven hours. So I think buying a second charger, uh, you should probably do that because, man, 14 hours to recharge, woo, that's a long time, man. Scarecrow said, do you know about the Borrow Motors Wolf King GT scooter goes 62 miles an hour? Ooh, I'd love to try that thing out. I wonder if um, it's like, all, so this one's good. This scooter is good for like all terrain. Yeah, it's, it's off -road. road. It's got independent suspension, just like the last one. Um, it's got front headlight. That's pretty cool. A little re rear tail light. Um, Yoho Sun. Tyler Brooks, he is a beast. <laughs> Yoho Sun, peace and love. What's going on? Limelight love said, Shreddy's the reason I bike. Oh, hell yeah. I'm <laughs> glad I inspired you. I inspired you in a positive way. No negative, no negativity coming from this Shreddy channel. All right. The instruction manual is here. Retro said, is this my first time seeing Shreddy's living room? <laughs> How do you like it? What do you think about it? <laughs> We're still decorating. Still decorating. I just think he needs to get those little headphones off. <laughs> those are for my Xbox that I never play anymore. You need to put some candles or something up there. Folding clamp. Okay. I'm going to keep the tires in there for now, and then I'll pull it out after I lift the clamp up. All right. I'm going to try without reading instructions first, all right? You guys know how it goes. <laughs> Should I keep that there? Is that like something that has to stay there at all times? I'm not sure. But what we're going to do, lift that sucker up. Maybe I got to unt... There we go. Oh, wow. This feels like better quality than the last scooter, the way the stem is. I remember the last scooter having like a skinnier stem, and it was like a little bit, little bit shaky. But maybe uh, this is like a little bit more upgraded. And also the, the pad isn't grip tape. It's like a rubber pad on it. Before they gave you like uh, three or four different types of grip tape to change it out. But now it's this rubber pad. So hopefully that's comfy. And I'm wondering, I'm not sure if you can get um, a seat for this one. But the old Varla, the, the red one, that I, the other one that I have, you can get a seat for it. But I'm not sure if you could do the same thing on this one. Would be pretty dope. All right. We're gonna get up here, get the, get the handlebar on. Can you guys see me? Good. All right. Unscrew these little guys. Take my time. I really thought I was just gonna have to like unfold it, open and done, but. We got a, cute, a couple things to do. Any questions, guys? Any questions? Um, any, guy, any, any of you guys going to be at that Sur on uh, Mega Ride in Houston? Or anybody here from Houston or Texas? Yo, hey. Sunset F1 Pro, Retro Electro Dualtron X. I have to check that out. The F1, F1 Pro, that's, a, that's, the, that's the one he wants to see next. Unbox. Oh, okay. Yeah. Tyler Brooks. I feel you had list. I feel you had it. <laughs> She's trying to read it. <laughs> I'm gonna set this down here for now. I feel like if you had a least, a list least to greatest would help a lot. A list? Yeah. Least to greatest? Yeah. Like uh, of all the bikes to, yeah. to unbox? I feel like he needs like categories. <laughs> yeah. Stuff is getting crazy, guys. There's so many bikes coming coming our way to the channel for us. Richard R is our discount code for the Varla. There is an uh, affiliate link you guys click on in the description of this video. We are going to see if there's a discount link. We have 
written to the company to see if they can provide a discount link as well. Should be coming anytime if they're awake over there and we will update the description with that link as well. Yeah, I don't know where they're actually, where Oli is from, from Varla. His name is Oli or Oli, O-L-Y. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Jay Fast said, how about the Nomi Max one? I haven't seen or that Nomi. one yet, but I'd love to check it out. Yo, son, keep the card in your headband and lean down to headbutt the scooter to start it. <laughs> That's a good idea. Might have to do that for the video. Give you a little shout out for that. That's awesome. Tyler Brooks, the okay. unboxing of the Saron X from FedEx. <laughs> and thanks, you guys are awesome. Matter it. Thank you for again. watching, brother. Uh, congrats again. <laughs> thanks, Matter it. Loon, Shreddy, D. Loon. Good. People hit that like button. Thank thanks, you, Loon. Loon. Thank you, brother. Matt said, definitely need to take that on the trails. Yo, this thing is big, dude. It's heavy. It was really heavy to pull it out of that box, by the way. So if you're getting this scooter and you're solo, have it's fun. It's for like off-terraining. <laughs> all-terrain, dual. Off-road. Oh, I said off-terrain. Off-terrain. Like all-terrain and off-road. You can ride off-terrain too if you nice want, I guess. pillow. <laughs> you like that? Charlie, we do. Charlie A. Sh Hello, Shreddy. What's good, What's bro? What's up, Charlie? How you doing? So of course you guys gotta tighten these down nice and evenly. Actually, I don't think this one matters since it's like, I don't know. We'll still do it. I need my uh, fast, my drill for this. So much quicker. Any more questions? Yes. Oh, Tons. <laughs> question you receive a lot. You need to do a video. What's my favorite e-bike? <laughs> yes. All of them. I love them all. I just love e-bikes all in general, bro. It's so much fun. But how about, what do you think my favorite e-bike is? You guys all comment below. Or what e-bike are you looking for? Like what riding style do you like? And then he can tell you like what the best one is for that ride. Yeah, style. so many people have so many different riding styles. Like some people like riding in the streets. Some people like doing a little off-road. Some people like doing a little bit of both. Some, some people, people want to cruise. Some people yeah. want to go fast. Yeah. All right, so we're going to get the, ooh, look at that. Oh, yes, it has one of those awesome throttles. Yes, a little thumb throttle. I've always wanted a scooter with this. That's so awesome. Yes, I'm so stoked about that. Yes. Like this is gonna be so much easier to, I don't know if you can see that. It's gonna be so much easier to control. Oh yeah, yeah. If you guys haven't tried one of these thumb throttles, you guys definitely gotta give it a whirl. Let's zoom in guys, let's see what he's talking about. This little guy. <laughs> it's so smooth feeling too. The throttle feels great. Love that, love that. And I'm wondering if there's a way to kinda tune this up a little yeah. bit because I remember in the Varla uh, Eagle One, the OG one, there was like a, you can get into the P settings and give it a little bit, a little bit more torque for the takeoff. So I'm going to have to search around and see if I can get into the display and uh, maybe we can make this thing go a little bit quicker, just more, more low end. All right, let's put that nice and tight. All right, cool. Looks like I got to tighten up the, uh, the grips also, which is awesome. I like, I like those grips, these like ergonomic type grips. Is Paul Tomet in here? Did we see him join yet? Miss that dude, I wanna see him. There we go. Charlie A, hello Shreddy, what's good bro? What's up Charlie, how you doing brother? Hope you're having oh. a great, great Wednesday. Oh, that's right. What's your go-to e-bike your absolute favorite? Um, All of them. Do you know anything about the Gnome Max 1? No, I haven't heard of it, actually. Can you send me a link? I'm David reason, that's Cook, what's up from anymore. Colorado Springs? I love your videos. Hey, what's going on? I appreciate it, brother. What's up from Delaware? E-bike Dave, hi from California. Love what's your up, e-bike Dave? Thanks for the love, brother. I appreciate you stopping by the channel. All right. This is fun. I'm like so excited to, to take this out on the review tomorrow. Dee's probably not gonna see me all day. Actually, she'll see me when I come back to recharge or when I ask her to come pick me up. <laughs> Dee, help me. Uh, okay, so the display is on the ground. <laughs> all right. Is there, uh, okay, yeah, so there's, I was wondering, there's like a, 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 a cable to plug in for the, um, this guy, the, the little buttons or whatever. So they're, uh, 
they're on here. So that's for the display and that's for the control, your controls. Uh... <laughs> what? Matter it said definitely sir on, ha ha. <laughs> Limelight said, do you like the Super 73? I love them all. And Tyler all. Brooks said, sir on X. <laughs> and Limelight said, okay, what's the worst e-bike you've ridden? Got to be one that's horrible and a total no buy. Oh, man. Uh, there's one. The, the, right when you said that, it, it popped up in my head. And it, I sat on it in California. Remember when I called GD? I was like, I finally sat on one of these bikes, and it's horrible. I hated the way it felt. Uh, the the no torque, nothing. Let's just say it's a day of the week, right? Yeah. That's all you're going to say. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't want to get nervous. I think everybody get, knows that. Uh, um, <laughs> Tyler Brooks said, check if there's a limiter. What are you doing now, Eddie? I am trying to get the display on. Um, I want to know, though. I, I want to know if I can get into the display. I'm not sure if I can with this one or not. There's got to be. There's got to be. I'll have to hit up Bomber Marv, the e-bike wizard. It feels different doing the live in, uh, uh, inside the house. It's like so <laughs> echoey. Like, and like I don't have my bikes behind me. Like I feel naked. Do you guys like lives better in the garage with all the bikes and stuff? I think they do because like sometimes I'll see the bikes behind me and it'll kind of remind them of something to ask me a question about. Is it calmer in here? <laughs> but there's no room in the garage right now. There's, there's too much going on. In there. We can't even walk in there. Might have to buy like a, a storage unit, or or we can open up a Shreddy's uh, Shreddy's used e-bike sh shop or store somewhere. Only ridden twice <laughs> for a review and a range test. Did I say these? Check if there's a limiter, cut the lines. Jeff Ram said Grizzly or Suron. Again, it depends. Hey, did you hear me? What's that? Sorry. Jeff Ram said Grizzly or Suron. What's your riding style, my brother? And do you, you want to stay low key also? Suron is loud. It's loud. It's loud. Suron people looks know like you're. A dirt bike yeah, or... people know you're you're riding something that they should question <laughs> on the trails. He loves both of them. But I do love both of them. I have a remember blast. guys, for any bikes you like, check out the discount links below or scooters. So I'm gonna lean this forward a little bit. Or to if get you wanna upgrade your Suron, he has discount links for all of that too. Yep. I'll be out discount links. I got recommendations for accessories in my Amazon store. If you guys ever wanna help support Shreddy and you guys have like a big Amazon uh, store buy or anything, or if uh, you end up getting something from my Amazon store and you buy stuff, that always, I uh, actually get credit for anything you buy if I brought you to Amazon with my link. So it, that really does help me out, guys. Are you putting the display on? Yeah. So these two I gotta connect. All right, and then so here is for the display. So you get like, there's like little arrows you gotta line up. And of course it's on this side where it's dark. Okay. And that's plugged in. And my controls, all right. Slide it in like a gentleman. All right, so let me just pull this out. I just wanna, Take it out of here and then just make sure it does turn on and run. Oh, what do I grab it from? Oh my God, bent. I, I should bend with my back. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Can I just lift? <laughs> One there. All right. Hmm. All right, there's a tail light, so don't grab it by that. I'll probably end up breaking that. There we go. And that's how you do it. Get that out of the way. Bring this in a little bit. Oh, there's still more screws for stuff. What's going on? Hold on. What else do I have to screw in? Oh, kickstand. Okay. Any questions, Dee? Well, I'm yeah, there's a lot. Messing around. Me. I'll, I'll, yeah, keep asking questions. I'm here to answer them. Matt said, how much is this scooter? 
I have to look that up. I think um, it's like 2000. Hold on. I think Let me you grab said 2999. 2099, I think. Oh, 2099? Let's go over the specs, actually. How tall is Shreddy? E Bike Mike 73 said. I am 5 foot 11. This is definitely a big scooter. It, it's, it's beefy, guys. Not for people my size. <laughs> I still got to do the... And it's high off the ground because it jumped. Like your last Farlow, you were like jumping on it and stuff. I pro Yeah, I may, I may be able to jump this one. The tires are definitely really big compared to the other Varla. These things are really big. They're not knobby, so they're not really like off-road type tires, but I'm still gonna take this off-road. You guys know me. I got a notification bell. And then they give you these extra, you know, screws. I don't know if, I guess that's in case you lose like these up here. Yeah, they're the same size. And I'm guessing they probably go to other parts of the scooter. Um, How much do you weigh, Shreddy? I'm about like 150, maybe 160 now, since uh, I've been eating lots of uh, cookies recently. <laughs> I gotta He's check my stealing nuts. stealing all the Halloween candy that we we're supposed to give out. Don't tell them I do that. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, I gotta, whoa, this. Dude, everything feels very solid on this, guys. Everything's feeling solid compared to the Varla Eagle One OG. Definitely feels solid. All right, hold on. What am I gonna do here? Scarecrow said, the other day it was raining and I got in a hurry when I got off my wicked thumb and whiskey throttled it, dumped it with no scratches. That's good. Seriously? <laughs> Holy crap. I love hold wicked on. thumb. I gotta get, I get, I gotta get, hold on, I'll be back. I gotta get some tools. And Shreddy's hoping to go to wicked thumb when he's in Texas. That, they are in Denton, Texas. So I'm definitely hoping to make it there. Be a blast. And they're actually coming out with a new e-bike that I hope I can talk about very soon and have on the channel very soon also. Oh, I gotta remember the NFC cards is what starts and it, turns it on. I can right? ride it too. Yeah, hopefully D can ride it. Possibilities are endless. All right. <laughs> Matter, I just said Monday. Ha ha ha. Monday was so bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. He knows. Mob motion. I had a dream I was riding a motorized trike with my bro, and we ran into you and chatted for a minute, and you had the Chrome BMX e-bike. Oh, no shit. XD. <laughs> That's dope. <laughs> Mob motion said that. That's awesome. I love having, like, e-bike dreams. They're so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had an e-bike dream, guys. I have e-bike dreams all the time. How many of you would have e-bike dreams? Sometimes I wake up like this. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the hell? Matter it said they can learn from your feedback though. Dumb Waldo, naked streams are not allowed on YouTube, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Richard R, that scooter looks huge. It's humongous, Rich. It is. It's it actually, is huge. Yeah, it's big. It's yeah. It's bigger in person, I think. I'm gonna have to keep this like not in the garage, dude. Looks like a car on the bottom. <laughs> Jeff Robbins, hey Shreddy, when are you getting hands on a Lyric Voodoo? I'm hoping by next year sometime. I'm really, I really hope I can get that. Okay, wait. As soon. <laughs> Tell them the videos you just did. Oh, so I do have a Lyric 305 Ghost video coming out this week. I just got to wait for, for a couple more clips. Um, and then, of course, the Lyric Graffiti video came out. I don't know if you guys saw the preview, the first look at it. I'm gonna be getting that bike soon and doing the full review. So it'll be like a 25 minute, 20 minute video on that bad boy. So I'll be coming out pretty soon. Yes, if you guys didn't see it yet, definitely check out the new video. It Any was called tools? Lyric Graffiti First Look, Best Electric Bike 2023. It was definitely a really good video. Make sure you check that out. It's like the best intro I, I ever have had on one of my videos because we had a, cinematographer come to the house and hang out for a couple days and that was a lot of fun so that's how we got that amazing footage at the beginning of the video and stuff i'm just tightening up the light right now i'm not gonna like make it super duper tight i'll make it like tight enough to where i can like move it up and down because i don't want to blind people too much so his video coming out this week is the lyric voodoo 305 ghosts by tyson beckford Okay.
I still got the notification bell to put on. Yeah. Metarid, you could do a bike wall and get photos on it for the inside. Yeah, down our basement, we could definitely yeah. like, I mean, not, not in here, but Ow. down our basement, Ooh. we could do like a bike wall. I already got hurt by the scooter. He has a bunch of skateboards down there now. Yes, I do. So this is a dual 1000 watt uh, scooter. They claim speeds of 45 miles an hour. I heard somewhere that this thing can go 50, so I'm thinking maybe that's something in the display I can get into. Uh, it can climb up to 35 degree hills. Uh, and like I said, it's a 60 volt, 27 amp hour batteries. About a 13 hour uh, time to charge with the two amp, with uh, one of the two amp chargers. But if you get two of the uh, two amp chargers, it takes about six to seven hours. Um, a max load of 330 pounds, but I think they suggest like, I forget, like two something, I don't know, 290 or something. Any uh, questions? Uh, J Fest, Eddie's 511 and weighs about 150. Yep, yep, yep. E Bike Mike 73 said, Love your videos. Love Thanks you, brother. Single. Thanks for joining the channel, bro. Thanks for joining the live. I appreciate it. Is it a single or double drive? What's that? The scooter. It's dual motor. So this thing is quick and it has two. 30 amp controllers in there and long range right i mean I guess 36 means... newton meters of torque let's go and of course uh oh yeah let me check the brakes and make sure i got the hydraulics yeah so it's got dual hydraulic brakes front and rear um what do you call the suspension the, the, the dual shock absorber or they call it in, independent suspension so it's like not part of the scooter but it kind of is like as you can see they call that independent suspension. I'll get on it and kind of jump around and you'll see how it works and everything. So it's got a 10 watt front light. So I guess that thing's going to be a little bright. It's got a little tail light, pull the brake. The rear red light will light up. Oh, that's cool. So it actually does get uh, lit up when you hit the brakes. The LCD display with the NFC card. Never seen that before. Okay. I just had a, a reminder. It just showed me that this goes somewhere. <laughs> okay. I see. I see. I think it goes on this side, so that like locks it. It's a pin that locks it in, I guess, so I, I don't know how to lock that pin in though. It's kind of loose. We'll have to definitely figure that one out. Matter I said, that's me and my serum right now, dreaming and thinking while riding the two I have. Serums are so fun. Jay Fast said, I'm the same size, a little heavier. That thing looks like a beast. This thing, dude, I can't wait to see what it feels like and I can't wait to see if I can Tune it up a little bit. Let me un. Let me just see how that little pin thing works. It seems to like slide out. There's like no way to lock it in, really, or something. If you put it in. Jeffrey Robbins, the graffiti video was outstanding. Oh, right. thank you so much. Thank you. We definitely put a lot of uh, time into it. I and agree, I had a Jeffrey. blast. Yeah, I thought the footage was awesome. I loved it. Okay, so it does lock in there. It's just easy to pull out. <laughs> William Saloka, why don't you feed that guy sitting behind you? She. <laughs> that's that's Daddy Mc, McSkate. <laughs> Daddy McSkate. All right. What else? What else can I read? A folding clamp, wide deck. That's a nice wide deck. 11 inch <laughs> air. Uh, oh, crap. It's tubeless tires, bro. All right, so this is the first ve electric vehicle I've ever had with tubeless tires. That's pretty exciting. Uh, but I, can I patch these like a normal, like when you do like a car, since it's tubeless? Like how does that work with this? Or should I fill it with like uh, slime or something? Maybe I'll put some armadillos. Actually, you know what? I'll put the blue armadillos in there. That's a good idea because that stuff works great on tubeless stuff, um, especially like the one wheels, a tubeless tire. Armadillos works great on that. That is cool. Okay, so this is my second vehicle that's tubeless because the one wheel is tubeless. That's cool. So it's got the front and rear fenders that I don't even have to put on myself. Oh, it says recommended 250 pounds, but the max payload is 330 pounds. All right, that's enough reading about that. Let, let, what else do I got to put on? I got one more thing, the bell, and then we'll uh, see how to, how to turn this on because I have no idea. What? I need a screwdriver. Okay. Any questions? Matter it said, oh, a bike wall, like a whiteboard pin board you can put photos on so people can see all the bikes you have. Like, oh, yeah. Like all, take pictures of all my bikes and put them up behind me. Yeah, like pictures. That'd be awesome. 
some water. Dude, I've been watching for like half an hour and you haven't hyped Texas at all and it's happening in like a week. Oh man, I said at the beginning, I'll keep on hyping it up. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna be at the Suron Mega Ride in Houston, Texas, November 11th through the, is it 10th through the 13th? 11, 12, 11 through the 13th. So I'm gonna be over, I'm gonna be at that ride, not unfortunately not with a Suron, but I'm gonna be there with the Lyric Voodoo. So if you guys wanna try out the Voodoo, make sure you guys uh, meet up with me at that Suron Mega Ride. And if you guys have a, a Suron, uh, maybe we could swap bikes for a little bit so you guys can try that one out and I could ride your Suron, if you guys don't mind. I won't crash it. Um. Matter yep. it said, like criminal minds and investigation yarn all over the bike pictures. <laughs> <laughs> like connect Robbins. them and stuff, like uh, put like strings across them, like. Um, Jeffrey Robbins, towing the bike with a dead battery, keep it so real and showed how honest you are in your reviews. Thank you for that. I appreciate it, brother. I appreciate it. Oh, that's right. <laughs> they were on the beach. Well, we had a second battery, but he didn't. We we left the keys in the back of the truck. Like we had the second bat, like, dude, I, I rode around all day long with a spare battery in my book bag, only to find out that we couldn't use it. <laughs> and I had to walk back up that big old sand hill two miles back with a battery in my back. Not fun, but thank you, Toey. Toey helped out. Thank you, Toey. <laughs> Limelight images. Do you ride any non-e-bikes, like regular bikes? No, <laughs> I used to. His first regular bike was so cool looking. It was a Soul Beach Cruiser from like California. It had like a, it was like dark military green and had military like bullet spikes on it. Oh yeah, it had those little, those little spikes on the tires that popped out. I forgot. I gotta bring that back and maybe we can get a Bomber Marv to make it electric. And I have a Towny Electra. Electra. Not electric, but I will. I still gotta do the review on that ride one up, <laughs> that Core 5 bike of yours. That's yours too. Oh my god. What's going on here? It's kind of You're hard. You're not allowed to ride this in the house, you guys. <laughs> Are you about to take off? No, no. It's it's hard to turn. Hold on, let me well, see. Well, that's probably because you're like on carpet, maybe. I don't know. Because this Tighten is tight. Much? No. Oh, hold on. There's like cords. Just, just making sure everything's set right. I'll have to ride it to see what it feels like. Darn, the only thing about the garage is, is the fact that I could just pull off and ride it, but this, I'm probably gonna have to get somebody to help me get it out of the house. What? Yeah, the long wheelbase. We have like stairs up front, so when I'm bringing it, I don't know, man. Maybe, I, you know what, I can figure what do something out. you mean? Out. You only have two steps. Just take it down the two steps. I don't know, but I don't want to scrape the bottom. It's a high bottom. All you guys, right. in person, it's a really high bottom. I got a high How bottom. How high off the ground is that bottom? I don't know. Like 10 inches, something like that. Let me see. Let me look through the owner's manual. Just make sure I don't forget anything. I wish anything. I could get this off of here to show them how high the bottom is. They can probably see, right? Or can you tilt it down more? P settings instructions. Yes, there's P settings. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, here we go. It says start strength. Do not adjust. <laughs> it says zero to five. Zero weak. Five strong, default is three. We're going to five, come on now. P7 is power level. It doesn't say don't adjust. Slowest, fastest is 65, and default is 65. So it is set to the fastest. So P6, we're definitely gonna change. Uh, brake level, uh, so I guess that this does have regen brake on it. So if you lightly touch the brake, the regen will turn on. Uh, there is two settings, weak and strong. And it doesn't say, that, oh, default, it doesn't say. So we'll put it on strong because I like having good uh, regen. NFC key setting, I think you could turn that on and off, but default says two, it doesn't say, say anything else. Uh, P10 is your life odometer reset. Well, I guess that doesn't really matter. But yeah, we're getting into the P settings, we're turning things up. Let's see, rim size, don't adjust. Battery voltage, definitely don't adjust that. The P... Two is the number of magnetic poles, don't mess with that. Uh, P3 is your speedometer units, you can do kilometers, miles per hour. P4 is your start mode, 
So this is pretty cool. It has zero start, um, kick to start, where you kind of got to push it. Uh, the default is set to zero start, so it just goes. And it also has cruise control. That's pretty cool. And that's the P5 setting. Zero is off and one is on. So long press of plus button. Yeah, we're going to go into there and we're going we're gonna to tune everything up. For sure, my dog do this live. All right. Oh, I need my little clippers, my little clips. Uh, okay, there's a power button on here, plus information and headlights. Long press the power button. And look, it's making a little like flashing thing like it wants this. So I'm guessing you're, you have to use this. Is that a key? I don't know where to put it, yeah. Oh, here, down here. Get out of here. <laughs> that is awesome. I've never seen something like that before. Um, I almost hit the gas. I don't <laughs> want to hit the gas because it might be in dual motor and I'll, I'll burn out on the floor. So we're not doing and that. And the new couch. Okay. Information. Headlights. Oh, bright headlights. Look how bright yeah, that that's is. that's nice. That's nice. So headlights work. I don't know what the information is. Because that doesn't do anything. Okay. All right, so hitting the power button goes through all your uh, little information, trip odometer. Uh, I got 63.9 volts on this. I'm pretty sure like 60, it's pretty much full, right? Oh no, 76%. Okay, so what P settings are we going into? And I don't know how to switch it from dual motor, like to single, front and rear. We'll have to go through that. Um, so it says to get into the P settings, you long press plus and the minus. Oh, okay, so you got, okay. I'm just seeing what levels. All right, P, to save settings, allow the L LCD screen to time out. Use the plus button to adjust the value. Use the power button, okay. So the power button goes through the settings, ring size, speedometer unit, start mode. Hold on. What did I say I wanted to change? Start strength. It says don't adjust, but I got to. That's P6. Two, three, four, five, six. And then it's on one. Okay, one through five. So we're gonna stay on five. P6, start strength. Then P P8. Oh, hold on, let's go back to P7, sorry. P7 is your power level. It says uh, 65 is the fastest, but it says 80 here, let's see. Oh my God, don't tell me I have to hit that 80 times. <laughs> I gotta hit it 80 times. Don't go past it. <laughs> Almost there. All right, lifetime odometer reset. All right, we're good on that. So just let it reset. But let's see, how do you change it from dual motor, single motor? Start strength, you know, to adjust. Da, da, da. He always reads the directions after he puts together the yeah. guys, not before. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hold on, I'm gonna get down here so you can bring that down. You guys know, I, I like to like either, I, I perch a lot. I sit like this, I sit like this, I sit, you know, Indian style. All of it, all of it. So make sure if anyone's new here, you subscribe because he will be doing a uh, first ride and review video you guys can see tomorrow. how fast this goes and how it does on the terrain. Follow me on Instagram. I'll be uh, taking this out tomorrow and then I'll, I'll just be adding stuff to my story, what I'm doing, where I'm going, what I'm eating. Might get some surf bagel in the morning. When uh, it says when the power is on, it will show pedal assist one. The top speed is 15 miles an hour. When you press a plus button, pedal assist two, the top speed is 25. Press it twice, it will show pedal assist three. The top speed is 45 miles an hour. It's got the power switch, hold it three seconds to turn it on, place the NFC card. Okay, here we go, dual, 
dual and single motor switch. When it shows, when it shows this, it says dual motor mode is on the displays. Hold button for two seconds to enter single motor mode, then that doesn't show. All right, so let me see if that's showing on the display. Oh, it hasn't timed out yet. Okay, so I gotta make sure that the headlight, okay, so. Hold the plus button for two seconds to switch between the modes. I'm wondering if I can, I don't know, it, it told me to, to let the display time out to, to save the settings. Like, I don't want to mess anything up. Silas Tapong said it's probably the steering dampener. How do I mess with that? It really does feel like hard to turn. It's like really tight. Although I don't know if it's because I'm on the carpet. Yeah, why don't, <laughs> looks like it's turning. It's, it's still stiff? Yeah, it's pretty stiff. We'll have to take a look at it when we're done this stream. Hold on, let me just look at the display settings again, make sure to Dean, save. Oh, that was... Dean Mitchell, hey, Shreddy, love your videos. You inspired oh. me to buy a bike. I bought a C3 Strom. You consider getting your hands on that? We have, we have been looking at those. They definitely look cool. You guys have been telling me, a lot of you guys have been telling me to check them out on the channel. So I think that's definitely a bike to, to check out since you guys are asking. Um, let me get this right here really quick. You guys should message them and tell them to let Eddie review a bike. There we go. Okay, so we are Matter in- Matter Ed said, is it power steering? We're in dual motor. All right, now we're in single motor. Oh, that lifts the front. Usually when you like turn a bike on its side, it lifts the rear wheel. But let me just make sure it's spinning. Nothing's working. Richard R said, turn on the light. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice. Lights are on. Richard R said, oh, it is on. It is on. Ooh, ooh. Don't even <laughs> let that hit the couch. Oh my it's God. It's trying to take off. It is trying to peel out, guys. Okay, it works. And then that's on power two. Let's try to power three. Can you want to look at this? Can you see it? All right, let's not trap my finger. Whoa. Oh my God. Whoa, that has a lot of power. Holy crap. That just like shook the whole house. It did. Holy moly. All right, let me turn that off. Um, what do you guys suggest about the front? Uh, the steering. He said the dampener, I'm guessing it's, man, I'm trying to see what would be causing that issue. It feels like something's like pinched or something. I'll still take it outside and see. Maybe the steering does feel tight on this thing since it's so big, I'm not really sure. Um, any, any questions that we can answer? Um, and just so you guys know, we're gonna be doing seven days of unboxing, six more days left. On the first day of unboxing, the Varla gave to me one Varla Pro Scooter. What's going to be tomorrow on the second day of uh, unboxings? <laughs> Any questions or are you guys done with me? We want to see the review. Review's coming out, coming out. I think I'm going to take this outside and, and just make sure everything's good and ready for the review. Um, I, just, I just want to make sure uh, everything is good with the steering and, and everything because I don't want to take out there and it be dangerous or anything. But as of right now, this thing feels solid, looks sweet. Um, Do you I'm want really me to follow you outside? I'm stoked about the power. Um, yeah, I don't know, let me see. I might have to get like a, a two by four to get the scooter down. <laughs> what? You can't just roll it down the steps? Oh. I don't know. What about the back steps? That's a possibility. That is a possibility. Close that so nobody comes in when I'm riding a scooter. Damn, that kickstand is. John John said the Zectron looks cool. Zectron? 
If you, hey, if you guys uh, want me to check out or uh, see anything like bikes or scooters, you can comment them down in the, uh, not in the live chat, but comment it in the comment of the video and I'll check it out. Or if you guys are friends with me on Instagram or Facebook, just send me links to any kind of bikes or scooters you guys want me to check out. Or if you guys have any questions too, like today, or this happens actually a lot. A lot of people are always sending me like links to like a really cheap like Suron or a cheap uh, Wicked Thumb, stuff like that. Uh, just be aware, like scams like that, if, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. And um, if you ever want to ask me a question, if like, hey man, do you think this is a good price for a Suron? Just message me. I'll try, to, I'll try to help you out as best as I can. I'll try to save people. <laughs> And remember guys, party. he does have discount links in the description below to save on e-bikes and scooters. E-bikes and scoots. All right, are we scoots and boots. And we're following him out. <laughs> I didn't check my nuts before this though, which I probably should. Because you guys know every time you, you uh, pull something out, always check your nuts. So I'm just making sure the brakes <laughs> are on right and Everything feels tight. I don't think I'm gonna be able to go down this without scraping the bottom, but we'll see. Ooh. Holy crap, this thing is freaking big. Whoa. This thing is big. Hold on, I do need to bring a, uh, let me get a two by four. Really? Yeah, because the stairs are kind of steep. I'm scared I'm gonna scrape oh, it up. Sorry, guys. You can fold this up, make it easier. Yep. Oh, that's better. Tripod's down. <laughs> I'm going. Oh, you want to show them the garage right quick? Six boxes out here. All right. Ow. All right. <laughs> this will make me feel that better about getting this in and out. Holy crap, dude. Oh my God. This thing is huge. Hold on, let me turn on a the light out here. Don't fall, it'll, it'll probably fall. I dropped my uh, Super 73 battery yesterday and now there's like a rattling going on in there. Like something broke loose. So I'm hoping I didn't like mess up the BMS and <laughs> ends up like charging and catching my house on fire. That would suck. Ah, you like that? Much better. All right, so. Gen X Walt, this is going to be fast. Be safe. But you can both fit on there. That red said, "Uh oh." NFC. Maybe you should put a helmet on. Uh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That one looks cool, you guys. Old school shreddy helmet here from the beginning, the beginning days. All right. Headlight. Where's the headlight button? I can't walk okay. away from the house, right? Nah, just stay right there. You're good. All right, just stay on this side. You then. can zoom in and out with the uh, thingies. Let's zoom in. Oh my God. What the hell? Oh God, hold on. This is really, really strong in dual motor. Hold on. Let me put it on on single for now. It starts off in dual motor as soon as you turn it on. Back. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my Where god. That is a lot of power. Yeah, that's scary. <laughs> oh yeah, I could probably jump this thing. Yeah, so the, the steering does feel tight. If you guys um know anything about that, can you guys comment uh in the comments or maybe send me a message through Instagram because I have no, that does feel weird and it was kind of hard to, to steer. Well, maybe we can reach out to Varla tonight and then tomorrow you can update them on your video. Like, I don't know if I should like loosen this down here or something up here. Oh, uh, probably is up here. It is. I got to loosen my pinch bolt and maybe uh, loosen that top stem. E-Bike Mike, you can message him on his Instagram, Shreddy McSkate his Facebook Shreddy McSkate, or he has, um, if, are you on Facebook or Instagram? I'm on TikTok too, but I, I troll people on TikTok. 
Yeah, the light is really bright. It's it a nice light. It is really bright, definitely. Um, I'm going to bring this out back this way in front of you guys. Let me bring out my tools really quick for the for the stem and see if I can fix that. But all right, guys, I'm going to I'm going to fix this scooter. Um, we're going to end this stream right here. If you guys enjoyed that content, definitely don't forget to drop a like. And if you guys are interested in the Varla Eagle One Pro, check out that link down below. Hopefully I'll get a $50 off discount code for you guys. Um, and if uh, the scooter isn't for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. Um, so don't forget the Lyric Voodoo video, the Lyric 305 Ghost video is coming out this week. What else are we doing, D? Uh, the unboxings for all these bikes and scooters and hopefully the first ride reviews for all these bikes and scooters. Yep, six more days of unboxings. We got, we got the Suron Mega Ride, but I will see you guys tomorrow night, probably around the same time. Uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram again to see what bikes we're gonna uh, open up or, and everything. Um, so as always guys, if you guys enjoyed that content, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and ringing that notification to be notified when I'm making videos. And are you guys ready for the moment of silence for the subscribe button? In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. Thank you, Jeffrey. He just sent a super chat. Yes, thank you. I appreciate it. Much love. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next ride or the live or the first Varla. <laughs> Actually, I'll see you tomorrow night. <laughs> Bye, guys.